Hey guys, as a 46 here, welcome back to Station Ears. Today's episode, we're going to be fixing up our solar system and making it work a hundred times better. So as you can see, my battery is charging up, but it's not as good as it could be. So what we're going to do is, we're going to automate this system using um, logic chips instead of this computer that uses lots of power and doesn't do a very good job. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, we're going to dismantle the computer. We know I'm going to need it. We can use it somewhere else, maybe, if we decide to do that, but I reckon gates are better now. So, we have our old um, daylight sensor up here, so what we're going to go ahead and do is just place the chips we need. So, we need the logic reader, it doesn't really matter which way this goes, as long as you can access all its connection points. So we'll just place this here, and then um, <clears throat> we need to scroll through the scroll wheel like this, until you get to batch writer, which is right there. I'm just going to rotate this so there's nothing down the bottom, like that. And then we'll go into our backpack, and we have this chip here, which is a logic math. There's lots of different choices, but we just want logic math. Again, I'll rotate it. Um, there we go. And then, finally, we will need the last chip in our um, backpack, which is logic memory. So you can see all these chips are placed down. Now all we have to do is just wire them up. So, we will wire them up. We've got lots and lots of cables, so hopefully we don't run out. Uh, I just gotta make a junction. Maybe. There we go. Okie dokie. There's one on this side. There we go. There's nothing there, but we can put one here. It doesn't really matter where you put the cables, honestly. It's just place as many as you can. As long as it connects up everything, like, it'll be fine. Just make sure everything touches. Put this here. I'm gonna grab a um, four way, six way junction here, sorry. There we go. Make sure you connect um, the solar sensor back up when you guys are done. Otherwise, you can have some weird results. Uh, there we go. Okay. Rotate one here. Not sure if there's an input up top, so we'll just make them. We'll make sure we connect it anyway. God damn. There we go. There's an auto save. There we go. And we'll grab a four way up top for the final bit. Like that. So now everything's wired up. The issue we have. Actually, there's no issue here. Because power comes out. Um, comes up here. And then goes into this. That's the only thing you need power for this. So. They will turn on you. We want to make sure they're off for now. So what we do is, we'll put our wires away because we don't need them at the moment, but we'll grab our screwdriver out. So, the daylight sensor is up there. What we want to do is look for the logic reader, which you can see it says logic reader on it. It's upside down, but it doesn't really matter. It's good for our purposes. So you can see this is the input here. You're going to go through it until you find the um, this thing, the daylight sensor. If you connect it up to your whole base, like uh, we have here, you're going to find a lot of different devices, unfortunately. But we only should have one daylight sensor, so let's go through and find it. I didn't realize I had so many devices. There we go, that's the daylight sensor now. So it's got the input, and then it's got the variable. So obviously, the same as the um, computer we had over there, we want the variable to be solar angle. And now that unit's ready to operate, but I wouldn't turn it on yet. This is a memory unit, we've never seen one of these before. So what you can do is you can increase and decrease by hundreds, or you can increase and decrease by ones. What we want to do is increase by one, hold left out, so it goes up by 0.1, get it all the way to 1.8. And then we want to go ahead and see the math unit down here. The input one, which is this one here with the one there, we'll make the input one the logic reader. 
if we can go ahead and find that. Yep. Put two will be logic memory. If we can find that. Logic memory, yes. In the output here, we want to change that to divide. Finally, the last chip. This is the batch writer. This will write to every single solar panel. So it doesn't matter how many we put, it will just automatically put them all in. As long as they're wired up with the red cable, of course. So the input for this one would be the output of that, which is logic math. Oh, I went past it. Can we go back? No, we can't. Oh god, I went past it again. Logic math. The output would be... Output is solar panel. Where is it? Solar panel. Solar panel. And the output type would be vertical, because we're changing the vertical on all of these. So, in theory, if we run these, you see they're at the wrong angle. The sun's over there. If we turn all these chips on, like that, you should see they're all rotating. These ones are obviously rotated around the wrong direction, but what we can do is rotate these on the, like that, rotate them 180. And then we should get some good results, hopefully. Just like that. So now they'll follow the sun uh, in one degree increments, or like 1% increments, instead of every 10%. So we will track the sun way more efficiently, and it'll track it all day, and no matter how many solar panels we put on, it will continue tracking. So I've actually gone ahead, if I can find them, I've made two more solar panels, and we've also got this solar panel here. So we're gonna go ahead and connect these up, and then we'll go from there. So we want this around like that. That. Is that too much of a gap? No. Maybe. Oh, there we go. So we want a big enough gap. What we can do is we just rotate it like this so we can have both the data ports there. So, we're going to go ahead and have to make some more frames. Just because we're running out. I think we have a lot of iron though, so we should be good. We just need like two or three. We two. Iron frames. We have no iron, but this has iron inside here. And that makes me realize we need to do mining again between episodes. And then we just need some plates for that. Some iron sheets to seal them up. Okay. So we'll go back upstairs. What we need to do is place some more frames so the solar panels can sit on them. Oop, lag's back. Oh god. Don't worry, we've put our jetpack up for a reason. There we go. Not quiet. We'll just grab our welder out. Um, welder is here. And then the plates are here. Turn the welder on with our Fold these up so we can stand on them. Like that. Now we can get rid of the welder. Grab our solar panel back out. Rotate this so the power lines up. And there we go. So these should all start working. Um, come daytime. You can see these solar angles question mark degrees. That's why they're just sitting at this angle. But as soon as it's daytime, they'll come back around. So, we can connect up more high voltage cables here, which I also crafted. I got 38 of them. So, we can connect all the other ones up. We want a junction. No connection there. And we want one here. Just run a cable along here. We have a junction there in case we want more solar panels down the road. There we go. That's all connected up. Put these cables away. And we want to get normal cables here. So, bring out like that. Junction. Another junction up here, which you fall off of. There you go. We have another junction in here to connect these up. Like that. 
We also gotta connect power here, I just realized. <laughs> and there's a data over here. Okay. It just barely reaches, which is good. Bring this over here. We almost actually ran out of cables. Like I crafted over 50 and we almost ran out. Oh, we might have run out actually. Didn't realize this gap here. Yep, we're gonna have to make more, but we can do our high voltage for now, for these ones that we didn't connect before. There we go, they should produce power now, I believe. Yep, we just need to make like three more normal cables. We'll make three more and then we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back, we've got some cables. Let's just finish up this wiring and see how the um, system works during the day. So let's grab some straights, put them in, fill the gaps in. There you go, the solar panel start moving. Like that. Kidoki. So, um, those cables are weird, but that was from the computer, so we can actually fix those up, make it look a bit neater. So we'll put a straight one here, and then we'll just have a junction here, make it look nicer. Pretend we actually know what we're doing. We can always take this downstairs so they don't get lost. Um, we'll come back during daytime and I'll show you uh, the solar angle. I don't know why these are off slightly. And we also could put glass on these, I just forgot. <laughs> so we have glass in the inventory, I believe, yes. And we'll just put glass on these. Like that. There we go. So I believe what's happened here is these are. 180 degrees off, so they just need to be rotated again, like the other ones. That one's good, this one needs to be rotated. It's hard to get the rotation, the, there we go, hard to get the hitbox. There we go. And they should all be synced up. So we're getting the angles, question mark, so it's just doing random stuff at the moment. But as soon as it'll be daytime, they should track 100% perfectly. So we'll come back when it's daytime. Hello everyone, we're back, it's daytime, and you can see the solar panels are all tracking. All two, four, six, seven of them. So if you have a look closely, they're actually moving every 1.8 degrees, so you can see they're moving in real time right now, as opposed to every 18 degrees with the other setup. So they'll follow the sun much, much better, and they'll actually manage to charge up these um, big batteries much quicker, much more efficiently. So I've also moved the solar panel that was right here, because it was partially obstructed by this frame here. So, um, yeah, I reckon this is a good wrapping up point for the episode. Next episode, we'll start checking out, um, upgrading our furnace system downstairs to be more automated using logic gates. And we'll probably check out sorters as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like below. If you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, make sure you write that in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more in the future, don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next one.